Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and this is John from Programming Knowledge. In this video guys we're going to be discussing what is strings in C and how we can take advantage of the usage of this particular strings and then of course we're going to be dealing with the different functions that we could use in order to work with our um, strings in our C programming language. Now if you are new here in our YouTube, uh, YouTube channel and you want content about programming I am inviting you to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload so without further ado let's uh, dive right into our topic which is the strings in C programming so basically you guys when we say string um, in C programming it is the one-dimensional array of characters uh, this is called strings um, um, in other terms this is just you know a group of characters um, logically grouped together and then and then there should be um, a sense why we're grouping these characters together and this is terminated by uh, null character backslash um, zero so actually guess there are two types of or two ways to declare string in C programming okay so we could declare it like this basically guys we have here the basic structure of our um, starter program so hello world program so I'm just gonna delete that and we're going to initialize or declare um, string in C programming so you could do it like this you could um, specify the type as char or car and then of course the name of your um, variable so you could name it something like this name and then you could specify here the um, length of your um, array of characters so for example six and then in here we could um, add the different characters for this particular string so we could say here for example h comma and then we're going to specify another character so first you have to specify single quote and then the character and then single quote to close that particular um, literal string and then another comma and then single quote the character again single quote comma and then um, single quote another character okay so you get the idea on how you could, you know, um, declare your string variable in C programming. So I'm just going to continue working with this. So we have um, declared six. So as I've said from the beginning, you have to, or, or the string, it is the one dimensional array of characters and it should be terminated by a null character. So null character in C is backslash zero. Okay, so basically now we now uh, we do have the string name, and then we need to close this one up. So this is how we could um, declare our string in C programming language. And actually, guys, you could do it also like this. So for example, um, you don't need to specify the length. So char, and then you could say here last name, and then all you have to do is um, declare it as an array, but you don't have to specify the length here, for example, five or six or something like that. So all you have to do is um, initialize this with a uh, with an actual value, for example, Hopkins. Okay, something like this okay and then close it with semicolon so basically guys it means the same thing if we declare the string like this or if you want to declare the string like this and of course we could all um, try to display this all we have to do is print and uh, print F and then we could say here the name is and then we need to add the 
format specifier so percent s for a string and then the new line specifier and then comma and then the actual value or string or the variable that we want to display which is the name something like this and then semicolon and we could also do the same for the last name so print f and then open and close parenthesis the last name is percent again percent s the format specifier for string and then new line and comma then the actual variable which is last name so we could try this add this the, the semicolon at the end of the line that denotes that this is the end of this particular line okay so make sure you do that because the compiler would complain if you did not specify the end of a certain line so now we could build and run our program and it should display your string like this the name is hello as we have specified in our variable um, name and then the last name is Hopkins as you can see here okay so that's a good start on how we could um, start working with our string in C programming language now there are functions as I've said there are functions that we could use uh, if we want to work with our string more so, so for example what if you want to copy a string um, concatenate the string get the length of the string so we could do that we could also compare strings if you uh, if you like to compare strings so all we have to do guys we need to include um, a header file which is string that h so this um, header file contains all the functions that we need if you, we want to work with string in a uh, you know deeper sense so string and then h as i've said this will contain all the functions that we need um, like for example the str copy str concatenate str length or if you want to, to get the length of a certain variable so for now let's just try this this is for display display the value of our string right and then of course uh, here we could use functions to our string okay so perhaps the first function that we could use is the str copy so the keyword for that is str str and then c p y so as you can see here we have the auto suggestions um, the str copy right here so we could click on that and then in here we could specify the string so let me explain first what this means so the str copy function takes in two parameters so the first one will be the destination or the string that um, the copy of a value will be stored in and then the second function or I mean the second argument will be the source of um, or I mean the source string okay so again it will take two parameter this str cpy so the first parameter will be the destination string the second parameter will be the source string okay so, so for example in this um, program I'm going to declare another string here and then um, you can say here str and then full name for example this is just for a sake for the sake of example okay so for example this will be um, maybe uh, I don't know maybe 13 okay so we don't set a value for this for now and all we have to do is use our str copy 
function and then we need to specify the destination um, string so for now let's use this str full name as the destination string right there and then comma and then of course we need to specify the source string okay and then the source string will be um, maybe the the last name okay now if we want to display the value of set or str full name then we could use the printf statement and then we could say here the full name is and then percent s again backslash n for the new line and comma for um, the actual value str full name right there and then end this up with a semicolon okay and then we could clean and build this just to see the result of our program and in here we have an error okay so we copied the actual value of our um, variable instead of using last name so let's just um, modify this so instead of Hopkins it should be last name here okay so clean and build our program and it should be okay for now and as you can see here uh, we have the display so the last name or the name is hello as you can see and then the last name is Hopkins and the full name is Hopkins and these two is identical that's because we already we just copied the value of last name and assign the value to the str full name okay so that's how easy for us to copy strings inside our c program so there are uh, there are other functions as well if you want to explore more about this so for example the other function that we could use is um, str say at or see str cut so this will concatenate the string or two string so basically it will just take two parameters the the first one and the second parameter and then it should you know combine this two string to 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 form a new string so let me show you that so let's just use this str cat and then maybe we'll just use the name and then the last name so the first string will be name okay and comma and then we need to specify also the um, what they call this the string or the second string which is the str full name okay and then um, semicolon okay and then after this we could display the value of our name so all we have to do now is copy this and paste it this here and let's clean and build our program so first now let's just um, close this close the output the output first and then clean and build our program and it should display here what we have done so far so the name is hello the last name is Hopkins the full name is Hopkins and as you can see here the name is hello Hopkins so as you can see it concatenated the name and then the last name so the, the name got the value of hello and then the last name got the value of Hopkins okay so I think that's all there is to it for this tutorial and if you want to learn more about strings all the functions you could explore the documentation so if you want to know more about the different functions available in um, this string that um, header file you could 
visit this website and then you can um, see here the commonly used um, string functions so we already have um, use the str cpy str cat and of course the other most common you uh, commonly used string function is getting the length of your string okay so again this is all about this tutorial and if you have questions you can ask questions below in the comment section and again thank you for watching and see you in the next video